This is a card that like Sean got for me. You ain't gotta zoom in. I look. I know you from the zoom in. This is a card that Sean got for me. This card. He got this for me when we broke up a long time ago. It's been a long time. Been together for a long time. Oh, this is our second apartment. I don't know if you can look around. Can't really see, but this is our second apartment. Upgraded to a two bedroom. So, um,. Yeah, well, this is when we broke up in our one side. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So he got me this car and he got me some roses and some chocolate. And it was so funny because I was angry with him, you know. I was broke up with him. And he leaves the house. I don't know where he's going, but we just broke up. So I didn't want to text him like, oh, where are you at? Where are you at? Because we just broke up. And then it's going to look like. I want to know where he is when I really didn't. I did, but I didn't want him to know. I wanted to know where he was. So, I didn't text him. But he came back, and I was doing my makeup in the mirror in the bathroom. And he's standing there smiling. What are you smiling for? Why are you smiling at me if I'm broke up with you? You know what I mean? So, I'm like, what are you smiling at? And then he just keeps smiling at me. I'm not understanding why he's smiling, so I close the door, and then the door opens up on its own, and I ask him again, what are you smiling at? Why are you smiling at me? He's telling me, come here, and I'm saying, no. He said, come here. I said, no. So he goes in the bedroom. He looks sad, and I walk out of the bedroom, and on the computer is this card, some roses, and some chocolate. Now, this man, no, I don't like chocolate like that, but he's going to go and get me some chocolate. You see, I don't understand. He could have came back with some gummy worms or some, some uh, what is this one thing called? Sour patches or something. This fool will give me some chocolate. So, I was already kind of upset because he got me some chocolate. He know I don't like chocolate. Who do he think I am? What, Forrest Gump? No, I don't want no chocolate. I want some sour patch. So he got me this card. So anyways, I'm going to read this card. Oh, okay. So when I see this stuff on the computer, I go back and I walk in the room and I'm like, what is that, Daishan? Like, really, what is that? You know, why are you trying to buy me stuff? I'm not, I broke up with you. You trying to buy me some chocolates and some roses. That's something you do when you're together. I don't know why he did that. But I'm going to read the card. The car says, chips without dip, pretzels without beer, macaroni without cheese, bagels without cream cheese, mashed potatoes without gravy, me without you. And as you can see, me without you, it's a little guy. He's so sad for being without me. Okay. And the car says, not only do I miss you, but now I'm really hungry. I know I'm always the one messing up and doing dumb things, and that's the reason we're not together now. But I appreciate you and everything you have done for me. You put up with so much for me. You've cried many nights because of me. It kills me inside to know that you are gone and that I really do care and love you. This is a very hard and stressful time for me. Well, a very hard and stressful time. Uh, what? Oh, well, us. With whatever it is I'm going through. I want nothing but to be happy and to be back to normal. So you can see the real me. I'm sorry for my anger, for my angry outbursts, my cursing, my disrespecting our house. In our relationship, you deserve better, and I'm sure you will find better. I've thought, I've taught you a lot, and you will do great. I love you to death, even though it's tough for me to express it. Just want to say sorry. I love you. I miss you. Every single second that goes by. And then it's a sad face with a heart that says, love me. Mm -hmm. When I read this letter, 
Y'all wanna know what I did? I cried. Because at that time, this was all I was wanting him to say from the beginning. And this, okay, I was really ugly. And this, um, this was kind of like in the middle of our relationship. And this is what I was wanting him to say. It took that shot a long time to tell me he loved me. A long, long time. Um, it was really irritating. I was feeling like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to wait around for this guy. Like, we, we've been through a lot. You know, we live together. We do this and just so much. Like he said, he taught me a lot. And things was tough, you know? So I'm just saying, that wasn't the reason I broke up with him. But it was just tiring. So it was kind of what I wanted to hear all along. Um, and I heard it. And why are you so close? And I heard it. So it felt pretty good. And I went in the room. And I was crying. And he was sitting on the edge of the bed. I'm not sure what was going on in his mind. I don't remember if he was emotional or not, but sitting on the edge of the bed and I stood in front of him and I was crying and talking and he told me he didn't even think anything of the card and the flowers and stuff. He thought, well, he said he thought that it wasn't going to change my mind, that I was going to stay broke up with him. You're really close to me and I don't have my makeup on. So, um, so yeah, anyway, we ended up getting back together, um, currently we've been together for almost a year and a half, I think it's been a year and like four, yeah, almost five, a year and five months. Um, we are living in our second apartment, which is a two bedroom. Um, for the kids, the boys, his boys, and hopefully our family. And um, when we first got together, we um, we first got together. He was still getting over a, a recent breakup, so things were tough on him. I was just getting out of a hard relationship high school relationship and um I liked him I liked him from the second I met him and now I'm in love with him I love him a lot um he's very inspiring very positive very sweet um he can be sensitive very smart very independent um he's a motivator he doesn't like to fail if he has something in mind, he's going to do it, and he's not going to stop until it gets done. So, I love him a lot. And, um, hopefully, um, soon we create our own family, and we want a little girl really bad. So, hopefully, God blesses us with a baby girl. We've been, we've been talking about names. We haven't really gotten any picked out. <laughs> haven't really gotten any picked out, but we've been talking a while. Um, I don't know. I just love that shot a lot. Um, we go through a lot, a lot of drama. Most of our problems are because of outsiders, are because of other people, or people in our business, or people try and break us up, or people that think we're not good enough for each other or just anything random like that. Most of our arguments don't really originate from us and our feelings and what goes on in our house. So we try our best to cut that out or cut those people out. Been doing a pretty good job, but it's these two specific people that won't leave us alone. I'm not going to say their names, but very miserable. 
Anyway, not letting them get to us. God has blessed us with each other and the relationship that we have. Hopefully in the future, he will bless us with becoming one and getting married and having children. So um, I'm just grateful that God has blessed me with Daishan. He's an amazing person, amazing man. Not always the best boyfriend, but he's a good boyfriend. Um, so I'm just grateful for him. Um, really happy that God has blessed me with him because of Daishan. I'm a lot closer to God than I was before. Daishan killed a lot of my bad habits. So I appreciate him for that. I love him a lot. So, thank you.